Hi, I'm Jason Dillmeyer with Cannon River Kennels. I got my uh, dog Bumper here. We're going to talk about control training. We all want to get to the point where we're using a remote collar, but the control training is actually started with a leash and choke chain. Now, a leash and choke chain isn't designed to actually choke your dog. It's de designed to give short, quick snaps to your dog to get the control established manually, and then we can use these to reinforce that training later on. There's actually a right and wrong way to put on a choke chain and leash. What I'm talking about is you want that choke chain and leash to actually give short, quick snaps. So you're going to see a sideways pee as you put this on the dog, so when you do snap and release, there's no tension. If you don't see that pee and you give a short, quick snap, it's going to lock on you. And when the dog feels that locking sensation or pulling sensation, they'll actually resist and want to pull the opposite way. Now let's go ahead and put this on him the right way. Put this on him. We're going to start by walking some figure eights. I like walking figure eights because that gives us a chance to turn both left and right, a lot like ice skating. On a left-hand turn, the dog has to slow down. On a right-hand turn, the dog actually has to speed up. So let's go ahead and get started here. Heel. Good. It's important to use positive reinforcement as well. You're not just using the negative reinforcement, but if heel, the dog needs that, don't hesitate to give a few quick snaps. Heel. Good. He knows that you're the one setting the pace. Sit. Remember, before you use a remote collar, make sure you use a choke chain and leash first in a yard setting. I'm Jason Dillmeyer, and we'll see you in the field.